Hey guys, it's Drew. Now those of you who have an eye for detail will realize that I do not have my red wig going on right now. Today I am rocking my grown back in afro and that is because I'm going to be trying on a wig from divaswigs.com. As I'm sure pretty much all of you guys know by now, I am a huge fan of wigs. So when Divas Wigs messaged me and asked if I wanted to try out one of their wigs, I was like, yes. So Divas Wigs is a site that sells all different kinds of lace wigs, whether they be synthetic or human hair, and then just all different kinds of styles and colors. I picked out a wig that I felt was closest to what my hair was before, and we are going to open it right now. So the wig comes in this nice little box. It has their name and their logo on it in gold. I actually put a dent in it. I don't know if you can see it on camera. I can't tell, but just pretend that's not there. Just admire the rest of the lovely box. So I'm gonna open this up. So this is what's going on inside. I am already happy because the color of this wig looks pretty damn perfect. I hate when I get a red wig and it's that like bright neon-y red. Like I need something that has a richness to it and this, like I don't know if you can tell exactly on camera but it's a nice like deep ruby red which is exactly what I love. Now also along with the wig inside the box they have this little paper. On one side it has instructions for wearing it daily. It tells you how to keep it clean and just other tips. On the other side is a return form so that in case anything is wrong with the wig you can just put this form in it and return it which I think that's really really good. Now also in here they have a wig cap which I'm really happy that they did that because I have no idea where mine are. They are floating around somewhere so I have one. Before I get into actually like taking this out of the plastic let me just say that their customer service is pretty amazing compared to like other wig sites that I've bought stuff from. They're just really nice and they respond really fast so I feel like they would definitely be really good about when you have issues and stuff like that which is a big thing. I just hate sites that just cannot handle issues. Now inside the plastic bag the wig is wrapped up in like a hairnet type thing. Most wigs come in those and then it has a little piece of paper inside which I don't know if you can see it but it has my name on it and then it says all the information about the wig it is 24 inches it is red and then it has the item number oh my gosh look at it oh it's so beauteous so this is what it looks like when you first take it out of the package look at how beauteous those curls are without like even being like brushed through or anything like that so like I said, this is 24 inches and it is already pre-curled. This is a front lace wig, so as you can see, it has the lace on the front. If you don't know about what front lace wigs are, front lace wigs are wigs that have this little piece of fabric right here and it makes the wig look way more natural, like it actually looks like it's coming out of your actual roots. They're more expensive than just your regular old wig, but they do look a lot better. I prefer them. Even though this hair is synthetic, like the texture is just crazy soft. Oh, it makes me so happy. Now, if I flip it inside out, you can see the inside has this very light colored cap and this makes me very happy. It actually has clips to secure it to your head. I hate when wigs don't have the clips because they always slip back and I have to keep pulling them forward like when I wear them places. So I'm gonna try this on, but before I do, I have to go and cut the lace. I'm gonna cut the lace kind of long just so that I can show it to you. I don't wanna cut it down like all the way short like how I would actually wear it just in case. If I cut it long, I can just always go back and trim off a little bit more so it looks better. Okay, so I've cut the lace and I'm just gonna put the wig cap on. So this is what it looks like when you first put it on. As you can see, it's parted in the middle, but the thing about lace wigs and why they're so cool is that you can just kind of part them anywhere so I can fix my bangs. I'm actually just gonna stand up so that you guys can see the full length. It is like right under the boobs. You know, I don't look half bad with it parted in the middle. I've never worn my hair that way, but it doesn't look terrible. I'm gonna show you this close up for those of you who aren't very familiar with lace wigs. As you can see, like I said, I didn't cut the lace very short so you can see where it ends, but usually you would cut that shorter. But this is what makes it a lace wig. See how it kind of like blends in with my scalp there? Each hair is individually stitched into the wig and that's why it looks that way. Like it's just each individual hair growing out of your head. It's so bouncy. This looks like I'm just juggling my boobs. <laughs> They're so bouncy. So yeah, all in all, I am just really, really happy with this wig. 
So if you are looking for a wig that you can wear every day, I would definitely suggest checking out this website and getting one of these. I'll have to update you guys on my pages like as time goes on to see how it holds up, but it does seem like a very good quality wig for being a synthetic. So I will have links down below if you guys want to check out the website. I'm also going to put a coupon code that they gave me down there so that you guys can get money off your order. I have a ton of things planned for this wig. It's not going to be like an everyday thing in my videos now because I'm enjoying having the short hair a lot, but I definitely am going to do like some photo shoots in it and stuff like that. I'm probably also going to wear it for some styling videos or some makeup tutorials and stuff like that that I feel that it would look good with. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed watching this review and I will see you soon with yet another video. Bye guys!